Ever since I moved out here to the forest about four years ago, I've always dreamt about having my very own sauna. And today, it's finally, finally, finally happening. But there's only one thing missing. To build a sauna, you also need a Finnish person. The previous owner of this property has started to build a sauna here. Yeah, exactly. So Many is, years ago. <laughs> yes. So there is a, a, a room. Exactly. Finished. We can do this. So as you can see, there is a sauna room, but there is no actual sauna stove. In true Swedish uh, sauna spirit, they have insulated the floor <laughs> for some reason. Yeah. So we need to remove that insulation because you need to be able to throw load in a sauna. Exactly. So the water goes through the floor and out yeah. instead of just getting caught up in the insulation. insulation. We're going to remove all of these small planks right there on the sides of the floor beams. And then hopefully these ones will going to fall out. So this is what is called in Swedish Trossbotten? Yeah, I don't <laughs> exactly. know what that is. I have no idea what the, the word is the in underneath English. Underneath floor. Yeah, that keeps the insulation in, basically. There's too little space here for yeah. this long crowbar. <laughs> 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 How is it going? It's a little bit hard work in these positions. <coughs> oh man. <coughs> these modern building materials. <laughs> what a load of crap. Yeah, there's not the best to breathe in, I would say. If you've seen my videos before, you know that getting deliveries out here to the forest can be quite tricky, to say the least. And that was the case even this time when they delivered the sauna stove, because I paid for getting something home delivered. And it's technically it's home delivered, but the problem is that our driveway is over 400 meters long, and he couldn't get up with the truck, even though I plowed the entire way by hand. Uh, so he left the sauna stove and every material and all the pipes and everything down at our mailbox, so 400 meters away. And the problem with that is that the sauna stove weigh weighs over 120 kilos and I was here by myself so I it took me three hours to carry it from the mailbox all the way up here so I actually used our dog sled and pushed it on that uh, but it was still extremely heavy and if you're curious about what everything costs like the sauna stove all the pipes and everything don't worry I'm gonna talk about that a bit later in the video 
Okay, so there's this one here. Uh, yeah. Goes straight like this. Yeah. So the chimney needs to be on that side. On this Either side, side or of this it. side. I yeah. don't know. We'll. I guess this side. Yeah, to it's gonna be so close. Exactly. In the corner. Yeah. So what is the next step? I need to <coughs> see where the stove is going to be, so we can know where to drill a hole for the chimney. Yeah. So I did, the idea is to have the stove in that corner with the opening, I think, that way. I think that will be the smartest. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see how it feels. Yeah. And then the idea is to have the, what do you call that? The lav, the benches. sitting benches, like over there and then back. Ooh. Here. So like a... L shape. L shape, exactly. Yeah. Sure, if it's better, I think it maybe will be better this way. Really? Okay. Then depending on how far the bend. Yeah, is that's true. <laughs> I was just mostly thinking about like when you're uh, entering it, so it will be too tight maybe when you come in here, like the first steps. But there is no benches there. So. No, that's true. You might be right. But we will uh, take some measurements. Here yeah. Every time I've been talking to Matthias about saunas he keeps coming back to this Finnish word that is löyle. To Finnish people it's a very spiritual word and it's a very important thing when it comes to saunas. So instead of me trying to, trying to explain it to you, I think it's better that you hear it straight from Matthias. One of the most important aspects of a sauna bath is the löyle. Löyle is a complex concept or word. It has no corresponding word in Swedish or English. A very simple and materialistic way to explain löylu is the act of throwing water on the hot stones on top of the sauna stove. So if you look up the word löylu, you probably find that it is steam, but that's not entirely correct. As I see it, it is more the whole experience that happens when you throw water on the stones. How does it feel? Was it sharp? Was it soft? Did anything at all happen? In Finnish mythology, the concept of löylu is also a lot deeper. One could say that löylu is the life force. In other cultures there are different terms for this, like prana or chi. So that probably gives you a hint on how important this topic is. So how does one get a sauna where the lolu is good? There are certain aspects when building a sauna that you need to take into account. The stove and how many kilos of stones there are and a cubic meter of the space and also what height the benches are on, just to name a few. So when I go into a new sauna, I really hope for a good lolu.
So what are we doing? Putting on the first fire, according to your recommendations. <laughs> because you said it was... Some coating. Coating, yeah. Uh, and you would take that off outside yeah. instead of doing it inside. Yeah. Yeah, it stinks the first time you okay. light it up. <laughs> yeah, I would have never known that if it, if it wasn't for you. Some brand new information. Oh, 
ju frågan då om det här är regeln och här kommer där och så ska du ha en sån här här också då. Vad som långt. tänker. Ja, hur långt kvar ska den här vägen sitta i förhållande till väggen så här. It's now 2 a.m. in the morning, uh, so we've been going for 15 hours or something without stopping. Or oh, we took a lunch break, but that's it. Quite a long day, uh, but I'm so happy all over how far we got actually. So this is what how far we got today. Here you can see in a while there the benches are kind of done. Like we're gonna trim down this corner here, and we're gonna add some borders basically to make it look a bit prettier but tomorrow then we're gonna get working on the stove that's gonna stand here we made a hole and prepared everything but we still need the stove to be there Did you remember to buy a thermometer for the sauna? Actually not. No. <laughs> Shit. Mm. <laughs> nice one. Thank you. No thank till du. It is essential. It's very essential. Thank you. Before we fire up the sauna for the very, very first time, let's talk prices. The sauna stove cost me $800, then the insulated pipes and everything that went with that was $600, 
the metal sheets protecting the wall from the sauna stove, so it becomes a bit more <laughs> fireproof, uh, was $200. And then we have the, the fireproof boards that went behind the metal sheets. Those were $80. And then we have all the materials for the, we call it lav in Swedish, the sitting area, the benches. That was $350. And then the sauna uh, stones cost me $20. So everything in total ended up being $2,050. So worth it. And I, <laughs> and I haven't even started it yet. So yeah, very worth it. Chance. I think so. Let's take a chance. Hope this is okay. <laughs> so how do you feel about the project at this point? I think it will be very nice. Can you explain what we did here? Because we actually didn't film that part. This one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we put some... Uh, I have no idea what this is in English, but it's some kind of stone. So fire resistant or heat stone, resistant uh, heat shielding not so nice looking uh, <laughs> uh, boards yeah yeah and then we put distances in between and yeah. then we have uh, another uh, metal sheet yeah just a thin metal sheet so it's a double layer with air in between so yeah. this means that we can have the stove uh, much closer to the wall yeah, so exactly. It being a fire hazard. Because otherwise it would recommend it to be 30 centimeters yeah. from the wood, so to speak. In the middle of the room. So yeah, otherwise the stove would stand like over there and then there's <laughs> no chance to be in here. So these ones first, I guess. And this shove it in there or yes. Like, not try to Tetris pack it, but... Like With it. air in between, yes. With air. So the idea is to stack them so that the air flows freely. Do you want to give your opinion where it should be? Oh man. Like, so we're going to sit there. Uh, Wouldn't I, it make sense I to guess. have it here? Yes, I guess. Look! Our very own thermometer. It's not just any thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sauna thermometer.
plus la main maintenant. Mm -hmm. Bah laisse même pas le pays là. If you have any questions about the sauna, just let me know in a comment down below. And if you made it all the way here into the video, I would highly appreciate it if you can like the video as well, because that actually helps the channel a lot. And remember to check out Matthias' channel as well. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon again. Bye.